Right, so this video, it's more about my DeWalt tea stack stuff. Um, I'm going to show you what's in all the boxes, go through them one by one. Um, what I use the boxes for. Um, hopefully some little tips for your storage systems. So we'll start off, I'll just have a quick closer look at these. So got my battery box, screws, that's my drills and that. And that's Stanley storage boxes there. Multi-tool grinder and jigsaw in that one. That is one of the T-Stack storage things, but I don't use it. So that'll be going at some point. Plane on grinder, T-Stack bag at the top. That one's got all my paint, brushes, glues, fillers, rollers, all stuff like that. And I've got a decorating box, which has just got decorating tools, screws and plugs. Drill bits and accessories, and down the bottom there is SDS and reciprocating saw. So I'll get these boxes out, quickly go through the toolboxes. Toolboxes being that one, that one, that one, and that one. I'm not going to talk about the tools much, just I'll show you inside the boxes. Um, the main ones I'm going to show you are the double drawers, single drawer there, and the drill bit accessory box there. So I'll move over now and I'll get these boxes out. Right, so first box has my SDS and my reciprocating saw in it. So inside, just got my SDS drill, reciprocating saw. There's an array of different chisel bits for the SDS there. The array of different reciprocating saw blades down there. The main ones I use are that's used, but that's the their Adbrox blades. Um, really good blades there. Um, and some of my longer SDS bits down at the bottom there. They fit nicely in there, stay out of the way. Um, so that's the first box there. Go over to the other one now. Right, second box is the planer and grinder. So inside, got the DeWalt planer and DeWalt. 18 volt grinder, got a box here which keeps grinder discs, the handle, the allen key for changing blades in there, got another box down here, that keeps some of the accessories for the planer, the setting tool, allen key um, and a few spare blades and then we've got the guide for the planer as well. They're the only two tools I keep in this one. Um, there's room for a bit of expansion, be able to definitely get another tool or two in this box here. Move over to the third big box now. Right, so this has got jigsaw multi-tool circular saw, circular saw in here. So this box is a bit rammed, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So got the DeWalt multi-tool, circular saw, jigsaw as well. Keep a spare blade for the circular saw there. I've got a number of different jigsaw blades here, abrax and key blades and fixings there. I've got a huge array of multi-tool blades in there. Fairfall, abrax, there's some DeWalt ones in there as well. I've got the Allen key and the changing blade in there as well. These are really good blades. I've got the um, there's the other one in there, the carbide tips one. Um, great for cutting through nails. Um, really strong, lasts a long time as well. Um, but yeah, that's what I keep in there. This box is pretty much jam-packed. Can't get much more in there. Right, so this is the fourth box with tools in. So in here, we've got, got my two 18 volt drills, my impact and the torch stays in here as well just literally because it fits really well there um the box here which has just got some pilot bits and pz2 bits in um the impact has two bit mag holders on it one on either side it's got the spider tools holder on the side there and the spider tools holder that clips onto my belt 
Um, that's pretty much kitted up and loaded up for everything I'll need. This one here is normally just literally loaded up with PZ2 bits. Um, I keep some longer PZ2 bits up there. That's the main. That's the main um, screw head that I'll be using PZ2. Um, I also keep a selection of other one PZ1, three, some Torx bits as well. I think that's a uh, 25 on there um, for some of the screws that I've got as well. Um, but yeah, this comes on every job with me. There's not a job that I go to where I'm not using a drill or the impact. So this comes with me on every job. Nice and tidy, don't move around much. Easy to grab when I need it. So this is one of the DeWalt T-Stack deep drawers. So in this box here, I keep batteries and charger. So at the moment I've got one, two, three, four, five, four amps, and two, two amps and a charger. They're all charged batteries ready to go. I take this on every job with me. So I've got a selection of batteries to hand and always got a charger with me as well. Um, it will eventually just hold batteries. When I get a few more batteries, the charger will come out and just go into one of the other boxes. Um, but this is quite a nice way to keep the batteries nice and organised. They don't move around that much. They're, them ones at the top are pretty tightly packed in there. There's not much room there either for them to move. I like this system. I grab this. There's certain boxes that come with me to every single job. You've got this one, the screw box that you'll see next, and then the drill bit accessory box. They come on every job with me, no matter what I'm doing. Um, also my drill box as well. And then other tools, I grab the boxes depending on what type of work I'm doing. So I'll show you the screw box. That's pretty well organized now. Um, and I'll show you that now. So this is the DeWalt shallow draw system for the T-Stack. Now, this is what I take on every single job with me. Um, if I'm doing big jobs and I need hundreds of one type of screw, I'll have bought them for the job. But if I'm doing little daft bits and bobs here and there, this one normally has what I need in it. So in the top, I've got a selection of the gold screws, a whole array of sizes in there. And in here, these are the swanky storage um, 3D printed bins that help you double up on the storage. I've got one, two, three. I've got four there. The other ones are in the bottom. Um, helps you get more screws in in, a, in this box. I'm not going to want a... I wouldn't want that a full section like this of just small screws like that. It's just a waste. Whereas now I've got two different sizes there, two different sizes there, same there and the same there. Really handy. Now move down to the bottom one. Now this is where I've got some silver screw selection. I've got brown plugs, red plugs, some wagos, some chop blocks, electrical clips, some plasterboard fixings, some caps which have decided to jump ship and like i said a selection of silver screws as well these bins help me carry more in one small box um i've not been to a job yet where i've needed something and it's not been in this box I keep a few fuses in here as well and um, they're just buried at the bottom um it's great i mean like I say, if I'm going to a job and I know I'm going to be using hundreds and hundreds of brown or red plugs, I've got another box which has just got boxes and boxes of these. But if I'm going to a job where I might just need, I don't know, three brown plugs, a couple of reds, maybe the odd plasterboard fixing, this box will do the job perfect. And the swanky storage bins really help out with the organisation in this one. So we'll go over to the next box now, which is my drill bits and accessories. I'll show you what's in that one. This is... So this is the third box that always comes with me on every job. So in here, I've got a, a huge selection of different types of drill bits, auger bits, spade bits. I keep my right angle bit in here as well. Um, SDS bits, spade bits, hole saw, number of different boxes of um pz bits um tape measure in here as well 
some tile bits. This comes with me on every job because you never know what you're going to be drilling into. And normally, I'll have something in here that'll that'll do the job. It is missing a few bits at the moment. Um, there's a few boxes which, off the top of my head, can't remember where I've put the things. But this is normally full to the brim. Um, like I said, there's also room in here that if I know I need to take um, a specific size drill bit, a specific hole saw bit, can be chucked in here before I go out to the job. Um, and this is ready to go for whatever I need. Right, so this is one of the shallower, cheaper tea stack boxes, I like to call them. Um, this one's had the insides just cut out. It's basically a few bits for when I'm wallpapering, basically. Um, selection of knives in here, rollers, um, wallpaper, scissors. This literally only comes out if I am doing wallpapering, but it's nice to have everything to hand in one box ready to go. So I know if I've got to go do any kind of wallpapering whatsoever, I can grab this box and all the tools that I need are to hand, ready to go. Move on to the paints and glue box now. Right, so this is more of a, another decorating box. So in the top here, we've got um, swanky, the swanky scribes there, selection of pencils, selection of pens, a knife in there, pencils, keep some sandpaper at the top, some gloves, Corking tools, another one there in that bit. And in the main box itself, I keep corks, silicones, paintbrushes, roller heads, filler, paint tub. This is more of a decorating box. Um, normally, it's coming out with me when I'm getting the other decorating box as well. But I also keep, like I say, some fillers. There's some epoxy in there. Um, it's nice to keep all this kind of stuff in one big box. It's absolutely ram-packed. Um, there's roller heads down there as well. Um, but yeah, this is when I'm doing more decorating kind of work, not um, big builds or anything. Like I said, this will only come with me if I'm doing a specific job where I'm doing a doing decorating if i need silicon for bathrooms or anything like that i've got them in other places and i'll show you the open crate box that i've got which just is used as a dumping ground for when i need to grab bits for certain jobs and i'll show you that now right so this is the dewalt t stack open crate now this i keep a few screwdrivers um spirit level some pens markers a big square stapler bit of pp in there um but this is oh what else is in it oh yeah also keep my s-wing camera in there as well but this is mainly used to put stuff in that i need from in the workshop as you can see I'll just lift you up now i've got squares hammers some older chisels some files um i've got my decent chisels down here in my my Erwin Marples down there. Sorry, them. A full set of them there. And that box there fits nicely into the open top crate. So if I need them for a job, I can chuck them in there. I keep this empty as much as I can so that if I need anything from the workshop that I don't always need on jobs, it can go just into here, easy to grab. Um, so that I know where it is. Um, say for instance, if I needed some spring clamps, I'd chuck them in here. Um, my other S Wing camera is normally always chucked in here. Um, this tends to come on a lot of jobs with me, um, just because it's got the the specific stuff that I need for that job will end up going in here. Um, say for instance, I've got some door handles to change or whatever that I've picked up from wherever screw fix tool station or been delivered online. They're in a carrier bag. The carrier bag will get chucked in here. So I know I've got it for the job and I know exactly where it's going to be. Um, there's two more things to have a look at. Got the DeWalt um, T-Stat bag. 
and another screw box. Grab the screw box first and then I'll show you the T step bag. So this is the wall screw box. Um, in here, red plugs, brown plugs, some larger screws and that. Got the bird box. If you haven't seen this before, if you check out my Instagram, there's a video all on this. This is a really cool little tool. W really recommend getting one. Um, selection of screws and whatnot in there. Um, this is what I had before I got the draw system. Um, draw system's kind of replaced this now. Um, it doesn't come on many jobs with me, um, to be quite honest with you. I need to figure out a better use for it. If anyone's got a better use for it, then leave a comment below. Um, because using it for screws and that, it's it, it's just not ideal for how I work at this moment in time. Maybe down the line, um, I can think of another use for it. But off the top of my head, I can't think of one. And it's just set up how it was when it was left. And to be quite honest, um, apart from this, this shouldn't be in there. That should be in the T-Stack um, open top crate. So that comes with me on every job because that is a must. Um, yeah, it don't really get used that much. Um, I don't really take it out that often. Um, like I say, if you've got uh, any suggestions on how I can use this better, leave a comment below because I'd be really intrigued to see what else I could do with this box. Because off the top of my head, I can't think. Right, so last but not least, this is the DeWalt t stack bag. Honestly, um, I'm not a massive fan of it. I got it when it first came out. I thought it would be a winner, but it's just not set up how I like a bag to be set up. Since then, I've got the Velocity Rogue 6.0. Put a link up here somewhere, up there, um, to my review on that bag. That's a great bag. Love that bag. So at the moment, this literally just keeps my spare tools in it because um, if I'm going to a job that needs screwdrivers and spanners and stuff like that, I grab my Velocity bag. Um, this just literally keeps some small screwdrivers, spanners and whatnot in there and in the middle there there's some really old chisels, some bigger spanners and stuff like that. Honestly, it never leaves the workshop. Um, I don't use it. Um, eventually it'll get replaced and I'll get rid of it. Um, but at this moment in time, I'm not a huge fan of this i wish i'd have got the open um open tool toolbox instead i've seen a few people with them and they can be set out really well um it can also be used quite similar to the crate the open top crate as well where you use more of a dumping ground for stuff specific for a job um but no that's my dewalt t stack setup and this is where it all lives, as I showed you at the start. Everything is there, so it's easy to grab. Um, so I know what's what, where it is, and if I need anything specific for a job, I know exactly where it's going to be. Um, I like how I've got this set up. Nothing's out of place. I know where every box should be. Um, if there was a box to be missing, I'd know about it straight away. Um, if I go to a certain box, they're all leveled up. I know in this one, my jigsaw, multi-tool and circular saw, saw should be in there. If I go in that box and they're not there, they're missing. Something's gone wrong. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be investing in a few more of these. And I'm debating whether to either get a few more of these. Um, I'm thinking about putting the jigsaw, multi-tool in one. Um, or... I just get a few more of these um, standard ones and have them set out for a specific tool. So I'd have my, I don't know, jigsaw in that in a box with jigsaw blades. Could have the multi tool in a box with its blades. I don't know. Um, it's always evolving. It's always changing. Um, I'm also debating whether getting some tough system boxes is the way to go, especially for the bigger tools, the SDS reciprocating saw. Um, planer and grinder, circular saw, tough system could be the way to go for the bigger kind of tools. Especially when I like to take the radio, which is up here, 
out on jobs that could go in a tough system box um i don't know there's, there's other tools that come out with me as well that aren't in there but that is mainly where all that well that is where all the 18 volt dewalt is kept um so i hope you like the video if there's any questions about anything if you'd like to see videos on anything more specific leave a comment below um i am thinking about doing little run throughs on the dewalt tools um if there's anything that you'd like to see any of the tools that i've got um leave a comment below and i'll get a video filmed about that for you cheers